nervous now, but I'm still a little nervous. Traveler, Paimon, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. There may be a lot of people watching tonight, but you alone are my true witnesses. Lenny, wait. You two hid a lot from Caesar. He went to his grave without ever knowing your secrets. So what about now? Are you an open book? Or are you still the same as ever? You don't have to tell lies to end up isolated and alone. One day, you'll end up exactly where I am today. Maybe then you'll finally understand. You're wrong. I'm nothing like you. <laughs> so, uh, what are we, uh, doing now? Like Lenny said, when you're ready, let's head outside and watch the show. But what about Gemma? She'll figure out what's best for her soon enough. Oh, and if you'd like to see Lenny after the show, you know where he'll be. The usual haunt. Lenny's finale, then! Uh, this trick's a pretty dangerous one, but he should be able to pull it off, right? <sighs> what is my truth? <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm like a gambling addict. <sighs> All I care about is winning. And it doesn't matter what's at stake. By the time I come to my senses, I'm left with nothing. Oh, if I had my time again. Magicians are not like thieves. Thieves only tear things apart. But good-hearted magicians, they put things back together. Magic should be mysterious, surprising, and defy logic. Magic is hard work. Every single movement has to be practiced thousands of times. It's all right. We're used to that. We're sorry. You've taught us so much, but we can't tell you the whole truth. It's okay. Do you still remember what I told you? This world is full of lies and falsehoods. I only hope that one day, you can find your own truth. Uh, what about you? Have you found your truth? Magic is my truth. I want to perform a magic trick so great that people will always think of me when they talk about it. For a magician, what greater honor could there be? Look! Behold! Lenny is sealed inside the box. Will he manage to escape? Ten years ago, Caesar attempted this very trick, and it was at this precise moment that... Mysterious. Surprising. And logic defying. Isn't that right? This honor belongs to you, Caesar. I'm just sorry it's a little late.
turned into flowers. How could he possibly have done that? How mysterious. I didn't blink once. He just vanished right in front of my eyes. What a heart-stopping magic show. This was really worth the trip. Caesar's name has finally been cleared, and Fontaine's new star magician, Linny, has fulfilled a wish on his behalf. Oh, I couldn't ask for a better grand finale. It will make a great headline for the Steambird tomorrow, even if I do say so myself. Oh, looks like everyone really loved Linny's grand finale. Paimon doesn't see Linny anywhere. Where'd he go? Oh, Lynette said he'd be waiting for us at the usual hunt. But, um, where is that? Oh, you mean the one where Caesar's buried? Yeah, that's probably it. This whole magic show kind of seemed like Lenny's way of saying goodbye to Caesar. So it makes sense that that's where he'd be afterward. All right, let's go look for him there. was scared to death when the chain broke. Paimon was sure something had gone horribly wrong. Magic is a performance art. A magician has to get creative to keep the audience on tenterhooks. That's our job. So I tweaked Caesar's original setup a little to keep it fresh. I was honestly a little nervous during the live performance. The thought of falling, suddenly feeling weightless, seeing the sky and the ground spinning and spinning. Sometimes, I can't help but wonder what Caesar thought in those final moments. Did he regret taking Gemma and Lorenzo on? Or did he believe that it was his own slip-up right until the end? You know, Paimon's been wanting to ask you about something ever since we were in Caesar's workshop. You learned magic from Caesar once, didn't you? When was that? After I joined the House of the Hearth. To be honest, Lynette and I had an agenda when we approached him. I told you about my past before, remember? As a young boy, I survived by secretly learning magic from street performers. I'd watch their tricks and try to figure out how they were done. But I quickly realized that observation alone could only get me so far. What I saw was the polished final performance, but the rigorous training they put in behind the scenes remained invisible to me. I needed to learn how to improve my sleight of hand, hone my misdirection skills, and make niftier props. We were gifted enough that we'd made some progress by ourselves, but without proper guidance from a professional magician, we quickly plateaued. So that's why you sought Caesar out? Yes. We figured there was no harm in asking, but it took us by surprise that he was so willing to teach us. 
In all, we only spent ten short days together, but he was very good to us. By contrast, we hid so many things from him. For instance, when he asked why I wanted to learn magic, I answered, it's my passion. But in truth, there was already a lot more to the story by then. After being taken in by an aristocrat for our magic talent, then betrayed soon after, this was no longer about me doing what I loved. What amazed me was how the lie escaped my lips even as I was hesitating over whether to tell him the truth. Trust is a beautiful thing. Sadly, I'd forgotten how to trust by then. Still worried about the way I feel? <laughs> you really are a gentle soul, aren't you? But don't worry, I'm used to it now. From the mansions of the elite to the house of the hearth, lies and selfishness have followed me and Lynette everywhere we go. After Caesar went on tour, we became busy with our missions. The next we heard of him was that he'd fallen to his death and was now declared to be the Phantom Weasel. That night, I remembered his smile, but as I lay there, I didn't know what to say to him. To keep secrets is to put up walls. The longer you keep them up, the less you let people in. Then one day, you look around and realize your life is like an empty auditorium after a show, full of seats once occupied by all the people who left. But I guess that's the price we have to pay. You only realize how much someone really meant to you when you lose them completely. That's why I was so confident this would hurt Gemma. Because... I felt it for myself. journey too. But whatever happens, Paimon always believes in what tomorrow brings. Delicious food, fun toys, and the traveler by my side. Paimon just needs to focus on things like this and all the unhappy stuff goes right out the window. Um, you know, traveler, doesn't that kind of make you Paimon's truth? Exactly. It's the same for me and Lynette. We are the truest thing each other has in the world, and nothing can replace that. Life has taken plenty from us like it did from Gemma, but at least it left us with each other. That's what gave us the strength to get through the darkest days. That's why the darkness never consumed me and why it never will. Maybe we live in the shadows too, but we remember every precious ray of light that shines through. All right, time to lighten this conversation up a little. What did you think of the show tonight? Were you happy with it? It was amazing! Paimon just wishes we hadn't been so distracted with the Gemma situation. We spent most of our time in the Opera House just talking and pretty much missed the entire first half of the show. Um, Lenny, could you do just one more trick for us? Whoa, that's a bit of a tall order, I'm afraid. The show's just finished, so my sleeves are decidedly card-free right now. you can think of something. The Lenny Paimon knows can do anything if he puts his mind to it. Oh, all right then. I'll give it a go, but only because it's you. Watch closely. I have a flower in my hand. You liar! There's nothing in your hand! We ain't going along with this! Huh? My goodness, you're right! But I could have sworn I brought one here with me. Hmm... Okay, try this. Count down with me. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Now, have another look around. Maybe the flowers appeared somewhere else. Really? Let's see. the last time. 
time, right? This one's called, um, oh yeah, a rainbow rose. But more importantly, Paimon has to know how the trick is done. Please, Lenny, pretty please. Well, if you want to learn magic, you'll have to start by addressing me as teacher. Since you asked so nicely, I'll share one little tip with you. Namely, the student of magic cannot solely rely on others being prepared to reveal their secrets. You have to observe, think, and find the answers for yourself. Is that it? Ah, look at the time. We shouldn't linger here too long. Thanks again for coming to see my show. I bid you both good night. I look forward to seeing you again. <sighs> All right, fine. See ya. Shall we head back now, too? <laughs> Paimon can't wait to read the Steambird tomorrow. Paimon bets Linny and Caesar will be plastered all over it. Let's head to the Steambird's offices tomorrow morning and see what we can find out. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Charlotte, but my sister and I are quite busy today. I'm afraid we'll have to decline this interview. Oh, please, Linny. I'll only take a moment of your time. If you would be so kind. Huh? What's happening here? I spent all night writing my piece about the Phantom Weasel, and it was going to go to print this morning. But just as dawn broke, I suddenly received news that Caesar's fiancée, Gemma, had contacted the guards and confessed to having been the real Phantom Weasel all along. That was quick. <clears throat> hmm? Too late, bro. <laughs> that was quick, you say? It sounds like I've got some catching up to do. Please, fill me in. <laughs> Whoops. Aha! My instincts did not lead me astray. You do have something to hide. Gemma turning herself in must have something to do with Linny's performance last night. Maybe watching my high-altitude escape trick reminded her of a better time with Caesar, and she could no longer ignore the voice of her conscience. Huh. Okay, then. Wait, no, 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 there must be more to it. If that's all it took for her to have a change of heart, how did it take her ten whole years? Um, well... Oh, I remember now! You and Gemma were nowhere to be found after the show. What happened between you? Quick fire question! Where did you all go after the show? Oh, we went to the cemetery and Linny did a private magic trick just for us! Actually, glad you mentioned it, because that reminds Paimon, guess what? Linny started using rainbow roses in his tricks! <coughs> what? Mm -hmm. I don't recall ever having received a rainbow rose from you myself. Is this supposed to mean that they're more important to you than your own sister? No, I, I just... Uh... What the... What now? Oh, did Paimon say something wrong again? <laughs> this is getting pretty awkward. What do we do, Traveler? <sighs> Seems like this interview wasn't meant to be. Well, never mind. There's always next time. Forgive my persistence, but when there's explosive news waiting to be found, I can't turn away. The news about Gemma has already made waves, and I'll stop at nothing to get to the bottom of it all. Apparently, one of the things she said to the guards was that her final wish is to see Lorenzo one last time. Ah, oh, there's clearly a web of complicated relationships there. Can't blame me for being curious. All right, I guess I'll leave you to continue the rest of your conversation in peace. Bye for now. Um, Lynette? Paimon didn't mean to... 
Don't worry, I wasn't angry. I was just trying to distract her. Oh, really? Oh, thank goodness. You scared Paimon there. Phew. You and me both, Paimon. You and me both. At least it did the job, right? Please, take good care of that rainbow rose. I'd be really upset if you lost it. Send one, send them all.
no escape! Order guide you! <laughs> This is order. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 